practice test paper 1 question number 3 the photoelectric work function of a metal is 1 electron volt light of wavelength 3000 angstrom falls on it photoelectrons come out of a metal with velocity option a 10 meter per second option b 10 raised to 3 meter per second option c 10 raised to 4 meter per second and option d 10 raised to 6 meter per second my dear students the solution of this question is very much easy since they have given a hint in this options we need to find out the velocity the velocity of what the velocity of photo electrons okay the velocity of photo electrons the whole story of this question is you know what if you read this question very thoroughly you will come to know that what they are asking the photo electrons velocity by giving two known quantities one is photoelectric work function it is known to us that is one electron volt another one is the light waves wavelength they have given as 3000 angstrom so the story i'm going to describe in a very brief way okay so a metallic sheet over which light wave is falling and that light wave carries a wavelength of 3000 angstrom okay so 3000 angstrom now at the point of falling of this wave over the metallic plate the plate does its work function one electron volt so this is the work function of a metallic sheet by which it emits back photo electron and we are going to find out the velocity of this photo electrons simple now as we all know when we talk about photons where these comes basically photon consisted in light okay so when light contains photons it means that it also carries energy so energy if you are talking about it means we are talking about frequency as well as Planck's constant fine so we know this formula okay so this is equals to the work function done by the metal as well as the kinetic energy with which the photo electrons are moving ahead okay so when we are finding out the velocity of those photo electrons it means that it carried kinetic energy due to kinetic energy it has gained velocity so these two quantities as well as energy this is the relation through which we are going to find out the velocity of photo electrons now if you take this or else this doesn't matter both are same since h i'm going to keep as it is that is planck's constant the value of planck's constant is 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 34 joules second now frequency we have not given we have we don't know anywhere it has given right so instead of writing frequency i'm going to substitute the value of frequency that is c by lambda we know the value of c that is speed of light and we know the value of wavelength that is 3000 angstrom instead of saying 3000 angstrom i can say that it can be written as 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to minus 10 or else 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 fine so is equals to 5 as it is plus kinetic energy can be written as half m 
v square. Now I am not going to simplify this formula. Instead of that, I am going to put value directly so that I can solve this question in a very easiest way. Okay. So we don't find any kind of difficulty here to solve this problem. Why? Because you know they have not asked the exact value. They have not asked the specific number. They have asked the order of the speed. So even if you get mistake with the exact value, it doesn't matter. You have to carry only the order of the velocities. Either the velocity having order 10 raised to 1 or 10 raised to 3 or 10 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 6. So h can be taken as 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 34. First of, first of all, I am going to substitute the values. Then I am going to bifurcate the pure number as well as these power type numbers. So that I can simplify the whole solution. Right Now, uh, C is 3 into 10 raised to 8. Okay. Lambda, that is 3000 angstrom. I can write 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to minus 10. Okay. Is equals to 1 electron volt. 1 electron volt means 1 into 10 raised to minus 19. Okay. Plus half. What is mass? Mass is mass of the electron. That can be written as 3.1 into 10 raised to minus 31. Fine. And what is v square? V square that is unknown. We have to find out, right? So I'll bifurcate 6.62 into 3. Okay. Into or instead of writing 3, I can cancel out here. 3, 3 get cancelled. Okay. And uh, 6.62 as it is into 10 raised to minus 34 and 10 raised to 8. If we use the formula of theory of indices, that is a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So we have same basis. So the power will get added. Minus 34 plus 8 becomes minus 26. That can be taken as 10 raised to minus 26. And here in the denominator, the power, uh, the basis are same and the power will get added. 3 minus 10 becomes 10 raised to minus 7. So if I shift here in the upward numerator, so minus 7 becomes plus 7. Okay. So I can take here, that is, I'm going to add it directly. So minus 26 and plus 7 becomes how much? We'll see afterwards, right? So first of all, on this side, on the right hand side, we are going to simplify it. So they have given uh, 1 into 10 raised to minus 19 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into uh, 3.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 as well. Now uh, we can simply make a simplification like this. So I'll keep as it is 1 into 10 raised to minus 19 plus half 3.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 v square. Fine. So the, see here, uh, 10 raised to minus 26 plus 7 becomes 10 raised to minus 19. 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 19. Okay. So we have two terms here. This is one term and this is second term. So I am going to, uh, in between the addition sign is there. So I am going to take this first term on the LHS side. So that we will get the minus sign with the first term. 1 into 10 raised to minus 19. So 10 raised to min minus 19 and 10 raised to minus 19. Here in both the terms it is common. Now we will take it as common outside. Hmm? But before that we will write this one half into 3.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 v square. 
ओके सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू माइनस वन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइनटीन एंड द डिनोमिनेटर टू इफ आई सेंड ऑन द एल एच एस साइड दिस विल कम इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड द न्यूमरेटर थ्री पॉइंट वन If I send it towards the LHS, this will come in the denominator, as well as ten raised to minus thirty one shifts in the denominator. Fine. So see here, you can see it easily. Now, if I send the ten raised to minus thirty one factor in the numerator, that will become ten raised to twelve, the plus sign. But the remaining part we have to write. This is v square. I'll, uh, you know, bifurcate so that I can have space here. Now, uh, you can see two divided by three point one into six point six two minus one means five point five two. When I send ten raised to minus thirty one in the numerator, this will become plus. So we'll get. V square here again. Now I'll take this whole term as k constant, okay, and this will become ten raised to twelve. Is equals to v square. Since they have asked in the answer the order of the uh, velocity of photoelectrons, so square will be going to shift on the LHS side, so that this becomes root k. Again, root k means again you can say it as a constant k. 10 raised to 12 divided by raised to 12 divided by 2 means uh, 12 12 divided by 2 so 2 ones are 2 sixes are this is v therefore v is equals to root k into 10 raised to 6 meter per second so this is the answer now the order of the answer is 10 raised to Six meter per second, which is in the option D. So I can put it right this answer. So the velocity of the photoelectrons we calculated it, and the order of the velocity of photoelectrons is ten raised to six meter per second. My dear students, just comment in the comment box how this video. has been done the quality of video like my video comment share and subscribe thank you